Hey guys, this is Mr. Vanek. Um, Mr. Adaletto asked me how to create um, a Pong game or break out any of these paddle kind of games that would allow you to change the direction of the ball based on where it hits the paddle. So let me show you what it's doing right now. I'll load it up real fast. Um, right now I have it set so that as the, the ball bounces, if it hits exactly in the center of the paddle, it's going to um, bounce straight. If I move down a little bit, it's going to bounce off at an angle. If I move and hit it a lot more toward the edge, it's going to bounce at a, at a more severe angle. So that I can kind of control if it's on the top half of my, of my um, paddle and uh, which direction it's going to go. If it hits the bottom, it's going to go down. If it hits the top, it's going to go up. And if it hits closer to the middle, it will um, it will go uh, more straight. So um, it creates a, a more of a skill setup where you can kind of choose where you want the ball to go um, and hit it in those directions. So let me show you how I did that. First of all, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, um, there's a direction to uh, the way things move in Game Maker. So if you want something to go right, the direction is going to be zero, and it's like a um, a circle, 360 degree circle, with every degree being another another um, setup, uh, another direction, right? Until it goes all the way around. So 90 is straight up, 180 is straight left, 270 is straight down. Um, for our our purposes, um, you know, the ball is going to come straight in this way, so. If it's all the way at the edge here, I I wanted to make sure that it it was not going to go more severe than um, 45 here, or um, well this says 315, which is true. It's 315. If I wanted to use that, I could. Um, I used for my purposes of coding a negative 45. So you can you can bring it around the circle the other direction. So I'm I'm really taking it from a positive 45 this direction. To a negative 45 this direction. Um, so let's go back to Game Maker, knowing that. Um, I'll show you this with the code first because I think it's a little bit easier to see with the code. Um, the paddle moves just like the paddle moves. It is worth noting that it is not a solid um, because I'm not doing any um, direct collisions. It doesn't need to be a solid. It actually causes problems if it is a solid. But this is just um, the normal move code that you're familiar with. Um, so right now I have, when the game starts, it's just coming straight at the paddle just to show you um, how this works. Um, and I created two variables. So I called one one diff, which is, um, well, you'll see the difference um, from the center of the paddle to the edge, how far it is out. Um, that's zero at the start just to, just to set the variable. An angle that the ball is going to be bouncing out. Again, I'm just setting the variable at the beginning. Um, if I'm hitting the wall, I'm just bouncing off. Um, so the walls are solid. I am bouncing using the bounce thing. So the walls are solid. And then the paddle, um, this is the code that the paddle uses. It's not too complicated, um, but it uses a couple things that you need to know about. Um, one is, since this is taking place in object ball, and it's a collision with the object paddle, it knows what an other is. Other is the thing that I'm bouncing against, right? So it, so from the ball's perspective, if the thing that I'm bouncing against, if the y of that thing is greater than the y of myself, which is the ball, um, it will um, do something. Let's go and look at the sprites for this, because ordinarily, the origin of the sprite is by default 0, 0. I've hit the center to make sure that the um, the origin of that is directly in the center of the paddle. This is what the x and the y is. So if if you have this set up to the top, and the ball hits below that, it's always going to hit below the x or y of the paddle. If if you're hitting the paddle and the um, the origin is up at the top here, so you want to make sure that that is in the center. And um, I you can hit the center button. You can 
figure it out pretty easily too, right? The height is 64, so the, the Y height is 32 to make it in the center. And the same thing with the ball. Um, for consistency, I just stuck it um, right in the center of that. Um, so, so we're comparing the Y to the Y, right? And um, we know that in a, in a game room, um, we know that the origin, 0, 0, is up in the corner here. And as you come down, it gets bigger. And as you come across, the X gets bigger. But um, for our purposes, we know that up is, up is minus uh, or, or getting smaller Y. Um, and going down is um, positive, getting bigger Y. Um, so, <clears throat> so if the if the um, origin of the paddle is lower, right, bigger than the origin of the ball, then we're going to do a couple calculations. We're going to say um, the difference is um, we're we're going to subtract the bigger from the smaller. So because this is bigger than this, we're subtracting um, we're subtracting that to find out how far apart it is. So we're saying um, <clears throat> if it's if the ball is here, uh, let's say if the ball is I guess up here. The ball's up here, right? There's my origin of the ball, and this is my origin of the paddle. Say this is uh, 15 pixels away, right? That will um, give us a value, um, and we're going to divide that 15 by the the paddle sprite height divided by two. I know my paddle sprite height, right? I can come in and just say it's 32 divided by two or 16. Um, but just to show you something new, um, sprite height is a is a command. It keeps track of that. So even if I had a really weird height, um, I could just put in the the other the paddle sprite height half of that value, right? So I'm dividing it. That's giving me a percentage. Right, so 15 divided by the paddle height of um, 32 will give me a percentage. Um, and if you look when I play the game, I'm actually I actually put that percentage on the screen. Um, let's run this again. Uh, zero zero. So we're going to see. 0.44. So where I hit was 44% of the distance between the center and the, the top here. If I hit the edge, it's going to be closer to 1. Right? Then I'm going to take that percentage, diff, and I'm going to multiply it by 45. 45 is the amount of degrees right? that we're, that we're concerned about. It's the amount of degrees from here to here. So if it's 1, it's it's 45 times 1, so we get an angle like that. If it's 0, we get an angle like that. If it's somewhere in the middle, we're going to get an angle in um, somewhere in the middle. Um, and then we're using the motion set um, mo command uh, function. So it's motion set, that angle that we just came up with, right? It's giving us a value of, of between 0 0.1, 0 0.01, or whatever, just a little bit above 0. All the way up to 45 degrees. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna shoot the ball off at that angle at whatever speed we're gonna assign to the ball. Um, this could be a variable. You could be changing the variable. So if you have a variable of ball speed, you could type in ball speed there. Um, if that changes as you hit the paddle, you can you can do that normally. So <clears throat> that's the first. This is the the top half. If I wanted to go upward, the same thing um, holds true. If I wanted to go downward. Right, so if the other y is less than y, it means if it's if the origin is higher up than the ball, um, then we're doing the opposite. We're subtracting the bigger from the smaller. We're getting our percentage, and we're subtracting from zero. I don't technically need zero here, but I think it's easier to see. Um, we get a negative degrees 45, and again we're shooting it off at an angle that, if it hits exactly in the center, if they're equal, if the other y is equal to the y. Then, um, then we're shooting it off at an angle of zero, which remember is straight to the right. So that's that's all it is. Um, it gives us some pretty pretty uh, pretty.
pretty cool thing to add to your game. Um, this will work for breakout or or uh, paddle ball ping pong. Um, if you wanted to see what I drew to the text, I just drew 50-50 angle, 60-60 difference, just to just to put it on the screen so I could see what it was. When I actually got to my game, I would delete this because I don't really care too much. Um, so let's show that with drag and drop before I run out of time on my recording.